All right, our next project is Open Index Protocol. So let's have a round of applause for Open Index Protocol. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and you good to go. Great. Hi, everyone. I'm the author of Open Index Protocol, and we'll get into that. But first, I'm curious, how many of you remember the walled garden internet? Anybody remember logging into AOL, Prodigy, CompuServe? Yeah? I'm seeing some hands. Thank you. So before HTTP, the internet was just these walled garden spaces where if you were a CompuServe user and I was an AOL user, we couldn't connect. It was the World Wide Web that gave us this space where we could all interact. So what is your favorite public space on the web today? Anybody have one? OK, sorry. It's actually a trick question. There are no public spaces on the web. And this was actually by design. The inventors of the web really wanted people to control their own content. But it turns out that everybody who wants to share a video or a recipe wasn't going to spin up their own server. And so tech companies built centrally hosted solutions to help the web scale. And the web, wow, has it scaled. It's really shown us the huge benefit of competition at the application layer. One protocol with more than a billion applications built on it. But as the web has grown, it's become more and more centralized. And we found ourselves back inside this walled garden system, where if I'm an Apple Music user and you're a Spotify user, I can't share a playlist with you. Has anybody been frustrated by this fractured system? Have you um, been worried about content being removed from a platform or censorship? Anybody been demonetized, deplatformed? These are serious issues. Companies like YouTube, Vimeo, iTunes, and SoundCloud have proven that there is great demand for digital content. But the problems with the current system are reaching a fever pitch, and we are on the precipice. We're standing at that moment in time when giant companies will fall, and visionary companies will rise. And that is why we built Open Index Protocol. Open Index Protocol creates a public space on the internet where anyone can publish, read, display, sell, or audit any kind of information and content. And that content cannot be censored. And the specification is open and flexible enough that it can really support the whole industry. And it's wildly more efficient than the current system. When compared with Apple Music and Spotify, musicians will make seven to eight times what they currently make, and audiences will save 50%. And the reason that giant companies will adopt it, and some already have, is because Open Index Protocol has a multi-stakeholder incentive model that creates competition at the application layer. Joel Monegro started the conversation about these blockchain economic models with his landmark article, FAP Protocols. And we're contributing to that discussion by introducing the salutary protocol model. Salutary protocols like OIP and Lightning Network create incentive, sorry, capture value at the application layer like the web and at the protocol layer like Bitcoin. And there are a number of projects that are now building on the specification, including Caltech's electron tomography database, Medici Land Governance is a, subsidi a, a subsidiary of Overstock, and they're building a property rights registry. And Alexandria was built by the OIP team. It's a search all for everything in the Open Index Protocol. You can see more at oip.wiki. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Open Index Protocol. We have two minutes for questions. Anyone? Jury members? So are you raising funds? or what? We are, yes. Oh, OK. How much? and? What's uh... Let's talk about that okay. in another setting. Yeah. OK, anyone else? Um, what kind of content is it, do you focus on? Is it music or everything? Or... That's a great question. So um, where Caltech's uh, application only shows scientific records, and Medici's only shows property records, Alexandria shows all records. So um, we are working with YouTubers, and we also have had several very high-profile musicians reach out to us, and so they're interested in it as well. So just to be clear, you're re representing Alexandria as an application on the OIP. It's not OIP itself. So today I'm pitching OIP, but I am part of both things. I wrote the spec, and then I, we're also building the Alexandria browser. Sort of like Sir Tim built HTTP and uh, what was his called? Nexus? I don't remember. His browser. Yeah. So who do we voting for? Alexandria or OIP? Oh, OIP. OIP, yeah. yeah Alexandria is listed here. Oh, then vote for Alexandria, I guess. <laughs> um, what are the incentives that the artists receive? The incentives? Yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, the way that the OIP system works is that salutary model. And what salutary models do, like Lightning Network as well, they separate the um, objective work into the protocol layer and the subjective work at the application layer. So at the application layer, platforms like Alexandria, Medici, ETDB, YouTube, iTunes, any platform is going to receive a cut of the sales that they're responsible for based on the way that the OIP system works, as are influencers. So these could be like... Um, Instagram stars or anybody like that, that works sort of like an Amazon affiliate cut where links result that go to sales result in getting paid. So those are all of the application layer incentives and that's where it creates that competition like the web did. Um, and then at the protocol layer, these are the things that act as fungible commodities. So actually, um, we all remember Netscape, one of the first browsers as, as being a browser, right? But it was, their business model was selling the services that made the web run. We're and out of time, yes. Okay. Thank you very much, <laughs> opening this protocol. Uh, round of applause, please.